You cannot film her if she says don't film her. And that's against the law? Yes, it is. It really? really? Yes, it is. What law is that? Uh, it's it's on the books. It's on what book? You're invading her privacy. Really? Yeah. In a public area. This is a state that's building. That's not a public it's area. That's and this most area. this most certainly is a public this area. This is. That's not. You can't just arbitrarily walk back behind the counter because you feel that it's a public who, area. Who walked behind the counter? No one. Okay, so yeah. what am I doing wrong again? Uh, you're filming them and they don't want to be filmed. Well, uh, uh, tough do noogies. You have so, I do have business, but they won't. They won't take care you're of it. So why? Why? Why are you being like this? You're a, you. You are an officer of the law, correct? That's correct. So you swore an oath. Absolutely. To uphold the Constitution, correct? That's correct. So why aren't you doing it? This guy, he probably has TikTok videos of, of his hair. Oh, look at my hair. Oh, look, look at my five o'clock shadow. Oh, I'm so stop sexy. Me. I'm so, you I'm so sexy. I'm so, I'm so sexy. I'm too sexy for my badge. Too sexy for my badge. So sexy it hurts. Have you heard of the First Amendment? Yes, sir. Do you know what it is? Could you tell me? What's that? Could you tell me? At this point, if you have any questions on stuff like that, I would suggest that you make or you speak to you know, the chain of command to the police department. You don't want to talk I'm about the First Amendment? I'm just not going to call him Yes, I found out you are allowed to. You can view the video in here. I was told if you were not, if someone asked not to be videoed, you should not video them, especially customers. Who, t who told you that? Um my empu and we are not allowed to record any op any transactions mm -hmm. at the window i'm right here you don't have to yell no i speak loud i'm okay. not yelling okay are you ready no okay well then you're gonna lock me up yes we have to take to the station What's up guys, welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. We're going to present to you a channel called The Angry Vet. This guy is a friend of mine. I talk to him every now and then. This guy has a really good channel. He has one of the most amazing channel names. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, when I was on the uh, David Nino Rodriguez podcast, I think he ended up getting more subscribers that day than I did. His name is just The Angry Vet. It just makes a lot of sense, right? Keep in mind that this is kind of a back the blue community. This interview allowed me to speak to that community and try to win them over to understand what we do and try to find out if somebody that backs the blue can actually support what we do. The feedback was amazing, guys. Nothing but positive comments. They... If you go to the video and you read the comments, a lot of them folks want me to go back. They want him to interview me again. The podcast, when it ended, I felt like there was a lot more things that I wanted to say. I felt like I didn't touch on a lot of different points. But, you know, maybe uh, David Nino Rodriguez will have me back on in the future. But for now, this community grows and this community tries to support each other when things like this happen. So you're not going to you're gonna deny me my appointment? Well, the yeah, rest one is more important right now. Uh, is that right? Yes. Sir. Make sure you get my best side, okay? Okay? Well, you, first of all, this is my wife, and you don't need to be a dick to her. Right? 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 Yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. What is happening? So the angry vet has recently been arrested and charged. Let me explain, I guess, what happened. He went into the VA office. He was denied service because he didn't put the mask over his nose. And then when he did, they still denied him service. Okay. Okay. So do me a favor. Can you just put your hands on the back, please? Can I give her my wallet and all my shit? You might need it. Are you saying that I'm going to be bailed out today or what? That's up to the court, sir. But, but you do have a warrant, just to let you know. So you're taking me to the jail on the, in the federal... I'm going to take you to the station. Yeah. Yeah. I'm take me to the station for this. Here, all right. Just take this. Obviously, cops hate accountability and transparency, right? Cops, when they, you know, end up doing something wrong, they try to sweep it under the rug. They try to minimize their actions. They always say things like, 
oh, you know, if, if a cop, let's say a cop does get busted for doing something wrong, they'll do like some kind of a campaign and say things like, oh, well, the cops, you know, it was the individual actions of that officer and it shouldn't reflect on the integrity of the department. They'll say shit like that. But like I said, cops hate accountability. So when there is a someone in the community who wants to hold cops accountable, but keep in mind, folks, that not everybody in the community is up to par with their own rights. They're not they don't understand that they have rights. They don't understand that they can go and ask questions. And the First Amendment of the Constitution allows us to ask questions, record and document. We can uh, redress our government. We can let them know how exactly how we feel. So there's a lot that the First Amendment entails. And I think that's why a lot of people don't know it. I think that's why the schools don't really educate on that. I think that's why the police academies don't really train cops on that. There are constant civil rights violations happening every single day, probably in every city, town. The reason that's happening is because nobody really understands the First Amendment of the Constitution. So whenever there is somebody that picks up a camera and decides to record, conducts a First Amendment audit or a cop watch or whatever, cops, not all cops, but there are a lot of cops that can easily get annoyed just by your presence alone. Like I said, one of the things that is happening out there right now people are holding cops accountable and cops will do whatever they possibly can when you become a nuisance to their tyranny um, they will do whatever they can to try to stop you or try to stop this movement from growing this movement is slowly growing into what it has become today when i first started my channel there was only a handful of auditing channels and it's just grown into this massive thing from sea to shining sea, people are picking up cameras, holding cops accountable. Now we're seeing audits being done in Canada, the UK, and Australia, other parts of the world. There are channels out there that I do believe, you know, make this community look bad, whatever. We're not going to touch on that, really. Um, even though I do, you know, actually, I will say a couple things. I don't really like, you know, the private business, you know, and maybe the private business audits. I mean, if you're going to go ahead and do that and you're going to tie it into First Amendment auditing, at least try to make it educational. Try not to piss the people off to where, you know, I'm not talking about government officials. I'm talking about the common folk out there who's not getting paid by tax dollars. You know, it's just working at a, you know, at a business or something. Make it educational. Don't make the people hate the First Amendment. That's all I'm saying. You know, it's not a bad thing. Don't turn my words into a bad thing. I just think that, you know, recording somebody eating, making fun of them or something like that. And there have been channels that have done stuff like that. And it's just, it's, it's a bad look, guys. You know, and, and me, one of the channels who have been around a long time, one of the first First Amendment auditing channels out there. You know, I should have a say in something like that. And I'm not trying to bring anyone down. I'm not mentioning any names in particular. I just think we kind of need to be weary of who we're going to call a First Amendment auditor. I mean, we probably shouldn't be labeling ourselves anyways. We should just be considering ourselves journalists or whatnot. Moving forward. This is such bullshit. And you're, what are you arresting me for? Well, when you go to the station, I'll tell no, you no. the charges. You got to tell me now, bud. You need to tell me what I'm being arrested for. You know this. You know this too. You know. You know this that's too. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> we watch you. Gonna, we watch you online. Tell me what I'm being. Tell me what I'm being. Tell me what I'm being. So then, this well, is you, retaliation. Uh, then is it's that not retaliation. It is? Yeah, it is. I mean. Okay. Well, you know, you have a right to opinion. I'm not going to argue with you now. I don't want to argue either. But you tell know. me what I'm being arrested for. You're in violation of, of? A, fed, of a federal crime of of videotaping and audio taping without people's consent. A federal crime. Which is charged, is start charged with my state as well. So why didn't you charge me with this federal crime instead of, well, instead you know, of the state crime? Things take time, man. You know how that go. Things take you time. You know, you're very intelligent, man. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. And and I'm not going to go back and forth with this stuff like that because... Well, then let's... We, let, but what is the crime that I'm being... That I'm committing? I just told you. So do me a favor. Can you just turn around and just put your hands behind your back? 
so we can just get this out the way, okay? But how long is this going to fucking take, man? Look, what is your name? And I, my what? name is Sergeant McLean. McLean yeah. 2092. Yes. McLean 2092 yeah. and... Officer Johnson, 3851. Uh, Officer A. Carson Johnson. I guess you can marry okay, so cool. whatever. Let's, let's just... A lot of times, cops in the communities don't like people holding them accountable. And so what we're beginning to see is people being charged. Sometimes it's petty stuff and they want to charge you with a felony. Just like here... This is ridiculous. Ow, ow, ow. You got it all fucking wrong, bro. I'm not just it. I'll just it. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not trying to hurt you. W. Farah? Yes, sir. You remember me? Yeah, I'm sure you've been called on me before. Yeah. They got him for wiretapping. They got him for recording. And, you know, the cop called the doctor and asked the doctor if... Oh, did you know he was recording? He's got a video on YouTube. And the doctor was like, oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, no. I didn't give him permission. Oh, oh, my God. No. And, you know, the cop is like, we got one right here. Let's charge him. And uh, what would you tell me? You told me that it was legal to uh, record. Didn't you? So I told you that? Yeah, you did. He wasn't recording when he was in Building 80. I wasn't? Yes, sir. Really? You don't remember me from Building 8? <laughs> yeah. And you said I wasn't breaking the law you wasn't recording. by recording. <laughs> oh, yes, I was. I record everywhere I go. You guys know this. He even said you watch my videos. All I of them. I watch your videos. I can't speak for everybody. Okay, I believe that it's, um, there's a word for that. Malicious prosecution. I believe that in the Angry Vets case, there is malicious prosecution going on. And I think that uh, the Angry Vet deserves better, considering he is a veteran. You got your phone? She got it. She got it. That's, yeah. that's your phone? Yeah. Why? No. no. Hold on. No. Sir? No. You got a search warrant? No, sir. Don't Go get, get in the car and fucking leave. Go get in the Give car and leave. I have a warrant? I have a warrant for his arrest. I don't give yes. a fuck. That's a warrant for my arrest. I have a warrant for his arrest. Not my phone. Okay. And That's his phone is no, it ain't part of the evidence that he would No, it ain't. Get the warrant for my phone. Get the warrant for my fucking phone. And then you can have my phone. That's the phone. Okay. Why? It's part of the evidence. That's, well, what, that's what he... Is there uh, something oh, you can show me yeah. for that? Because I shouldn't have to give it to you unless I see something. See a warrant? Do you, yeah, what do you... Uh, of it, I have the warrant. What I'm, what does I'm it say is, on the warrant to take the phone? Ma'am. I'm not... I'm. Listen to me. I'm I trying understand. To explain, I'm trying to explain it to you as simple as possible. He, he's, he's being charged with wiretapping. The evidence you use for that is the phone. He used that for for that purpose, which means that is evidence. Keep and recording, if you, Angie. And if you can record yeah, me, that's fine. Record you can keep recording, that's fine. But it's evidence. And I, I don't want you to get involved in this. I mean, you can record, you can do whatever you right. want. But I don't want you to get in any type of trouble by impeding the investigation. Okay? So I would I, like I, to I just, call his lawyer first. No, no, I, please. You can, you, you, by all means, you can call his lawyer. But I'm asking you, can I have the phone? Now, please. No. You know. I would like to please At call. At this point in time, you are impeding the investigation. I'm can just I, letting you know. Can I please call his lawyer sure, first? Sure, go ahead. Call his lawyer. But that doesn't affect what I'm telling you. That, does, that has no bearing on but what I'm But could I please right call now. him first go and ahead. then if I have to give it call to you? Please. Okay. We're going to go ahead and, and watch some of this video. We're not going to get too much into the video. You guys definitely want to go subscribe and, and, uh, and watch his channel over there. Dude's got amazing videos, guys. I put... A couple of videos on my channel and they've gone viral this guy is 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 really good at what he does and uh he's just you can tell he's just a good human being you know in general you can tell he's just a good dude so without further ado let's watch some of the video guys the angry vet oh look at look at look who it is look who it is i i've i got business to take care of here okay well go, go take care of your business i'm i'm trying to do that now but you're not uh you're not being very polite. 
I need to report a crime. Can you, uh, can you do that for me? Lieutenant? Lieutenant? Yeah, okay. They're doing this, it's over. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get by, Sarge. Trying. Kind of hard, though, with my condition and, uh, being, uh, incarcerated for a crime I did not commit, you know. That's, that's kind of hard for me, you know. So, I'm out here doing some public public information and uh, public safety, you know, we don't want you police officers running around here with, you know, bad tires and stuff like that. So what, what kind yeah. of you want, to you want to report today, Mr. Soper? Are you recording me, I mean, Officer yes, uh, Farrar? It's Lieutenant Farrar. Yes, sir, I am. I'd say it's officer okay. to me. All right. You don't deserve the rank of lieutenant. Okay, what crime do you want to report today, sir? A theft. Well, the way. Boy, I can't. I can't report it to you. You can't. Re you don't want to report it to me. No, because you're the criminal. I'm the criminal. Okay. Right. You're you're the person who stole my phone from an innocent woman. Okay. You literally threatened her with arrest if she didn't do what you told her to do. Okay. So I need to report the crime of theft over because, well. You know, the phone's pretty expensive. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And well, you and you didn't have it and you didn't have you a can get, you can get your phone back after When can I do that? When you when it goes to trial. When it goes to trial. But here let me in, let me ask you something, Lieutenant. You said you needed the phone for evidence, right? I, I, no, no, no. I'm not you, at do you, do you need the, you need, but you needed that phone for evidence, right? I'm not a liberty discussion. But you needed case. it for evidence. Why'd I'm you take? Why'd I'm you take liberty, it then? I'm not a liberty discussion case. Why'd you take my you phone? Can go through your attorney. Why'd you take my you phone? Can go through your attorney. Don't, don't, attorney. don't. Uh, talk to the state. Don't, attorney. don't, don't, don't erase that. Is that don't your personal? Is that your personal phone? Don't, don't, don't. Is that your personal phone? Not your concern. Is that your personal phone? Not your concern. I want to pause really quick and talk about this lieutenant here. First and foremost, the angry vet is correct about the ranks that they're using. Police officers shouldn't be using the ranks of sergeant, lieutenant, chief. Uh, these are military terms. These terms are used for military personnel. If we're not at war with the people in America, if cops are not at war with the people, why are they using military ranks? All right, that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. Second thing, you can easily, easily tell, and I hope that the Angry Vets attorneys point this out. How many times do you see cops like this lieutenant here? He, like I said, I shouldn't be using that term, but this cop. You can easily tell that this cop is maliciously prosecuting the Angry Vet. Why do I say that? It's not common practice for cops to walk up with their personal phones and record the public. I mean, when do you often see cops walk up to someone with their phone recording them? You just don't see it, folks. You know, that's what body cams are for. There's never really been a practice of cops walking up to you with the phone in their hand. They're supposed to have integrity. They're supposed to be professional. They're in their job. They're the ones that are working for the people. It's not the other way around. The people don't work for the cops. So if we're trying to hold them accountable and holding our phones up and recording them, that's our freedom. So what you're telling me here is that these cops don't like that the people have freedom. So they're going to selectively pick out the angry vet out of all the people out there. And they're just going to walk up to him and record him. Like I said, it's not common practice. I just think it's... uh. Very, very hypocritical for these cops to behave the way that they do just because the people want to hold them accountable. In reality, it just shows their true colors. It just, you know, it, 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 it cracks the shell. You know, we're able to see inside of who some of these people in law enforcement really are under that uniform. Sadly, it's hard to distinguish because they all wear the same uniform. It's not? That is not your concern. No, sir. Really? That is not your concern. Like I said, I, I'm not at liberty to discuss your personal case. Yeah. Okay? 
Yeah. You have a criminal then proceeding you out, coming then up. Why are you out here? Then why the fuck are you out well, here? Because we got a report of you walking through the parking lot looking at at cars, looking at windows. And that's a problem. Yes, it is. Where? How's that a problem? Yes, it is. How's that a problem? It, I'm just letting you know. I mean, am I breaking the law? Is that is that is that me breaking the law? It, it you gonna be. arrest me again for something be. that I didn't fucking do? <laughs> huh? So you don't want to report the the crime to me? I, I, this is beautiful, in, in my opinion. I'm going to screenshot that because I'm going to make that my thumbnail for this video. In my opinion, this video is, in reality, should be a slam dunk win for the angry vet. Look, this cop pretty much is admitting on camera that he doesn't know what he's doing is legal or illegal. It very well could be, he said. The sad part is, is it's not illegal. What's not forbidden is allowed, folks. I mean, I just don't see the jury convicting the angry vet after seeing this. Definitely, this video needs to be shown in court. These cops, his own words need to be shown. This cop should have never came out. He should have never came out. But he wants to be famous. He wants to be on camera. So let's make him famous, folks. Farrar is his last name. I'm not reporting it to you because that is a conflict of interest. I need to report a theft. So I suggest you get your supervisor involved and so I can report the theft. Okay. Okay? Right. Get your supervisor. All right. Get your supervisor. What do you mean, get yeah, what, what do you mean have a good day? You you're not gonna take my you're not gonna take you my just, complaint. You just told me you didn't want, want me to take the microphone. I you can't take your own complaint, you fucking dummy. What the hell is wrong with you? You can't take your own goddamn complaint. Hey, listen, you are you? Good day, Mr. Soper, okay? Are you? So you're not gonna, you're not gonna take the, you you're can, not gonna you, do it. You can go in and talk to the major if you like. I, yeah, sure. Let's go. You can go in and talk to the yep, major if you like. Yep. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. Let's do it. Go ahead. Oh no! After, after you. you. After you, sir. Oh no! After you. Oh no! You're too pretty. You're too, you're too, you're too pretty to, to go behind me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Come on. Let's, let's walk. No. Let's walk. Okay. Let's walk. This tells me that sometimes the pen is mightier than the sword. I mean, the cop is the one holding the gun, but he's afraid of the man with the camera. Perfect example, folks, of when the pen is mightier than the sword. The coward that went behind with, the, me with the gun is afraid of the camera. No standards left. Look at look at how heavy set both of these cops are right here. There's no standards left, folks. No education, no understanding of the people's rights, no constitutional training. They just put their hand on the book, um, uh, raise the right hand or whatever. I'm in say, the lobby. I swear an oath to the Constitution. Right now, this is. Uh, but they don't. It's a tiny one. Oh, that's hey, Mr. Soper, here's what's going on. Yeah, sir. How about your cell phone? Yes, yeah, sir. You, was it the person you were with, your wife or your girlfriend? That's my wife. Okay, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. Because right, I didn't. I don't know. I, when, I, they knew. <laughs> I don't. I wasn't there. Well, that's why he answered. Because yeah. What's going on what's right going now? On Are you going to take the complaint? No, there is no. They said your phone was taken as evidence. Your wife called your attorney, as I understand, and he's the one that said. For her to hand over the cell phone at, as per at, that time. After she was threatened with so arrest. I have, I'm just After she was sir, threatened with arrest. Sir, I'm just letting you know that your attorney told her to hand over the cell after phone. After she was threatened with hand arrest. Hand over the cell phone. After she was under duress so, and threatened with arrest. This, your phone is into evidence. You can talk to your it attorney. It was stolen. My phone was stolen. You, you can talk to your attorney about it. Sir. I want to file a report. There's no report to file. It's into evidence. Well, it's why? Evidence. Why do you need? Why do you need it for evidence? So, clearly, evidence, so. clearly, you had enough evidence to arrest me. So, I what'd you need you. the phone? What'd you need the phone for? Nope. Like, you see where I'm get, coming from here? You guys are digging yourselves a deeper hole than, than needs to be. I want to speak to your supervisor. Man, I wanna, you already talked to my supervisor, Lieutenant Farrar. Well, I want to speak. I want to speak to his supervisor. You when's he going? When? Major Culberson earlier. No, I didn't. Even earlier, recorded him. No, I didn't. About where you're allowed to report yeah. the property. Yeah, and he and he danced around the damn First Amendment then too. So is he not gonna? Uh, is he not gonna? Is he not gonna come out? He's not gonna talk to you. He's, He's not, not gonna, gonna talk. talk. No. So the major doesn't want to come out and and talk to me about what happened. 
Is that what you're saying? Are you done? That cop needs some heavy-duty suspenders to keep his pants. I'm not up done guys. with my business here. His belt. <laughs> Heavy duty suspenders, folks. That's, that's the first time I ever seen that shit. That's the heaviest duty suspenders I have ever seen. Shit. So, Mr. Soper. Lieutenant, I need to speak to your supervisor. Are you going to get him out of here or not? Mr. Soper, at this point, you need to call your attorney and let him know it's an active case. He's aware of it. It's an My, active case. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. My Your turn. report of a crime is not even active yet because no. you haven't taken the report. Because it's, it's not a theft. Do you have internal affairs here? Do you have internal affairs throughout the VA police department? At this time, you need to go... At, no, at this fucking time, you need to answer my questions, Lieutenant. Period. To me. Do you have internal I, I, affairs? I, I haven't cussed at you. I, well, you're you're starting to I piss me off. You, I haven't cussed at you. Uh, well, I haven't disrespected you. Yeah. All I'm telling you is you need to you need to go and talk to your attorney. No, I need to and go through and go through everything. No, I need to speak attorney. to. I need to speak anything? to. It. This cop says that I haven't cussed at you. I haven't disrespected you. But just because you do everything that you do with a smile and a soft voice, that doesn't mean that you're not fucking with the people. You are absolutely messing with the angry vet. You are extremely butthurt. You are absolutely targeting the angry vet. You're violating his rights under the color of law. You're abusing your position. You are mistreating the angry vet because you don't like accountability and transparency but he's doing it with the soft voice and a smile so he's pretending to be a good person he's using presumed authority and he's turning it into unbridled power and he's hiding behind the badge the gun his position i think this lieutenant's career needs to be coming to an end really really fast because Right now, he's looking at one angry vet, but I would like to direct all you veterans out there who are feeling a bit angry right now, focus your attention here. You know, back up the angry vet and his channel and see what you guys can do to support this guy in this situation. And if you have any vets out there in the area, try to go support him at court. Go into these departments as well. Ask questions. Demand answers. Definitely see if you guys can help them out. All right, let's keep watching. Internal affairs. Case, I need to speak to internal in affairs. In reference to this case. I want information on internal affairs. Now. Now. I want phone numbers. Lieutenant, now. I want it now. I'm anything, here for information. Anything in You're going to give it to case, me. You're going to give it to me. Anything in reference to this I case, also need to make a Freedom of Information Act request. That goes down to 361. Uh, what are you talking about? You want to make a four-year request. That goes through 361. Who? Release of information. Who? Can you give me the information? It's, I just gave it to you. 361. Go to building 361. Let's do it. Not allowed in 361, you big dummy. You banned me. All right, listen. God, what is wrong with you? Listen, you banned me from the hospital. I'm not allowed to go there. You need this, to give me the information. This conversation is over. Okay? Give me the information, Lieutenant. Go through, now. Go through your attorney. Go through your attorney. Do you have okay. internal affairs? Go through your attorney. Do you have internal have, affairs? Have a good day. I don't copy. I'm okay. still lost. All right. Still lost, Lieutenant. Still need help. <laughs> I need help. For what? You're going to arrest me now? Come on, man. I need information, and I can only get it from you. You're the only person that can give it to me. This is fucking ridiculous. Jim, yeah. If you go, go back out to this road here. Go all the way down. Go past building 361. And then it'll be your next left. You make a left in there and you'll see like uh, the chapel and stuff like that. And that's... Uh, 
Well, yeah, I mean, you can go that way, but you'll have to kind of dip out of the parking lots and get back over to this road right here. I would just jump on this road right here, go down until you see 361, go past 361, and then uh, it'll be your next left. It's a big, big building, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, yes, ma'am. Take care, you too. Now, you guys see that? If Kevin, the angry vet, was a bad person, would he have helped that woman with directions? The cop didn't even want to answer the questions for the public. <laughs> but Kevin, the angry vet, comes out of the police station and helps a woman out. <laughs> That's telling, folks. I definitely believe that this video should be used in court and the angry vet should be exonerated of his charges. And I think that this, I hate to use the term lieutenant, but Farrar, this officer, Farrar, cop, Farrar should uh, definitely be demoted at least. I mean, just the angry vet himself, he just looks like a kind teddy bear. I mean, look look at his, uh, his, his avatar. We got a teddy bear sitting there with a big teddy bear. <laughs> Send all your love, send all your bear hugs to the angry vet. Go show him some support, guys, in this time of him having to deal with bullshit charges from the VA. Anybody can help him with some legal advice. All you lawyers that are watching our channels, go out there and help him out, man. He's dealing with a lot of crap. So he's in the state of Maryland. He's got a lot of good videos, guys. A lot of them. All right. You guys, go subscribe, support the Angry Vet. Let them know I sent you. I will see you guys in this comment section. Thank you guys for all the love and support you guys give me and all the channels.